Welcome. In front of me is an Oppo Reno 4Z and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now there is two different unlocking uh, processes here that are right now. So we have the Google verification and if I go back we have the pattern. So just give it a second so it shows up the pattern. There we go. So to get started with this process you will need a SIM card with a pin on it. The pin is a crucial part on it, of it. Uh, if, you're, if your SIM card doesn't have a pen, you can just simply use a different device, set up a pen on that SIM card, and then use it with a pen. But anyway, once you have that, pop in the SIM card, assuming it goes in like it's supposed to and doesn't actually leave the tray. There we go. This will bring up the insert pen page, so I'm going to confirm it. And normally, in normal circumstances, you would see a pop-up right here, uh, which you would just kind of hold but because I already kind of interacted with it, it doesn't show me this the second time around, so I need to pop up the SIM card to get, I think, the same result. Yep, there we go. So you should see this kind of pop up. Now, for you, it should have a, it should have uh, popped up when you inserted the SIM card. And it just disappeared, great. So let's try it again. Okay, so as you can see, you just swipe down, uh, just so it doesn't disappear. And then you want to tap on this settings icon, which opens up settings. You can see right here. Now I did have a pop-up with no SIM card. Uh, that's completely fine. I did need to eject my SIM card, but for you, if you are not doing this a second time around, but the first time, uh, it shouldn't pop up because your SIM card probably is still in the device. But anyway, from here, you want to scroll down to Backup and Erase. Which, I believe it's going to be under Additional Settings. Let's see. Oh, there we go, right at the bottom. Backup and Reset. Then choose Erase All Data Factory Reset. And again, Erase All Data. Erase All Data. And once more. And this will begin the process. So let it run uh, with the factory data reset. Uh, once it's finished, you should then be back in the setup screen of the device with the crucial difference of the device being then fully unlocked. So I'm just gonna take out the SIM card. It's not needed anymore. The process is virtually finished. So I'm gonna finish it up and go through the setup of the device once it's completed, just so you can see there is no need to verify anything. But once you press on the factory data reset button and it begins doing what it's doing, the process is basically finished. And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can set up your device however you like. So I'm gonna go through it just so you can see that there is nothing blocking me. Oops, let's try it again. Now, first of all, I did skip Wi-Fi connection. That is not a requirement anymore because, well, the device is not locked. And there we go. As I said, no need to verify anything. The device is now fully unlocked and the setup is complete. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.